Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to reset your iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max without using the passcode. So if you actually don't have access, if you lost the access to your iPhone, then the only thing that you can do is of course perform the factory reset. And in order to do that without opening the settings because you don't have access to the passcode, is by connecting your iPhone to your computer, your Mac or PC or laptop or whatever you have. And once you do that, once you connect your iPhone, uh, you will need to also have iTunes on your computer. So if you use Mac, then of course you already have iTunes. That, that's not a problem. And on Windows, you will need to, for instance, go to um, to Microsoft Store and download iTunes. And once you download iTunes, then after that you should enter the recovery mode. So while the device is still locked, I can for instance press the volume down and power button at the same time for like a second, and then I have the option to turn it off. So let's turn off our device. And once it is off, you want to press and hold the side button, and you want to hold it, until you see the recovery mode. So the Apple logo will pop up, but you need to still keep holding the side button. So we should see the logo in a few seconds. There we go. But keep holding. I'm still holding, holding the side button. So keep holding and there we go. Now we are in the recovery mode. So now we switch to my PC. This is of course Windows, but it looks pretty much the same on Mac. You should have similar uh, instructions. Now in my case, it says that there is a problem with the iPhone that requires to be updated or restored. Um, we essentially want to restore. So if you have already the option to restore, then you can click over here and then confirm that you want to restore and update. Keep in mind that of course you will get rid of everything that you have on your iPhone. So if you don't have something on iCloud, uh, then it will be gone forever, unfortunately. Um, if you don't have this window, then you should be able to find the Restore iPhone button over here. In addition to that, if you have, for instance, this window over here, then over here in the top left corner, you should be able to click on the iPhone icon and switch back to this window. So essentially, you want to click Restore iPhone and then confirm that you want to do that. Now, this might take some time, like even an hour, in order to restore an update, to reset everything. So keep that in mind. You will need to be pretty much patient and wait for the uh, for the iTunes to do its job. And once it is done, you should be able to configure your iPhone again. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye.